What's going on YouTube? I'm back with episode 3 and we are on the UFC Road to Light Heavyweight Championship, baby! Oh, oh, oh. Right guys, I'm back and as you guess, we are on episode 3 and we are about to go into the team selection. So let's get into it. We've got Team Hendrix, Team Condit, Leonardo Cavantes. Nick Butch. I have to admit, I do want to be on the right side of the screen. I want to be on Team Hendrix. Don't know why. <laughs> I just do. I like his beard. Got a good beard. Bit of a Kimbo beard going on there. Anyway, we haven't been chosen yet. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. He's on Team Hendrix's team. Okay, so now I will go into explaining who this guy is, guys. Basically, this is the guy that I should have been fighting next, but I had a recording error, so I couldn't really salvage it. But I managed to get you the picture. This is the guy I fought previous to the one that I'm about to show you, and I do win this fight, so it's all good. Apologies though for uh, missing any of the action that you guys might have wanted to see. This is the guy that I'm going to be facing next, Leonardo Cervantes. And yeah, he's a kickboxer, 7-2-0 record. His overall is 68, so let's hope we don't have too many problems with this guy. Right, let's get into it. It's war. Oh, look at that walk. That walk says it all. That is a winning face right there. Well, we're in this game now. We're in it. Round one has begun, and he lands the dirty little you know, head kick there on me. Notice my uh, head went red straight after that kick. Up. Keep those hands up. Come on, you heard them. Come on. It's a pretty longish fight, guys, but. Well worth the watch. Brutal, brutal beatings going on in the ring. I think we got a couple of knockdowns as well. Very close matchup this one was. So yeah. I want to cut him. I've noticed a little cut above his left eyebrow there. So you want to be working on that, and he's just rocked me with that big uppercut then. It wasn't a full rock, it wasn't where it was uncontrollably controlling my controller from me. <laughs> but it was still, I felt the rumble off that hit. Oh, that would have been lovely. Goes for it again. Doesn't land it. I'm trying to use his toenail off that kick there, just to open that gash above his eye. Why not? Do you use anything in this sport? Tries to land it on the way up there. He just wants to knock this guy out. Boom! Blocked it. Get some stamina back up and start working on his midsection as well as as well as, as well as his head. So, come on. He's dazed. We need to work him now. Come on. He's dazed. Beat that head. Beat it. Come on, we just want to land one big punch to his head now, and that'll just rock him. See if we can get him into a clinch as well at some point. Try and work close quarters on his head. Just want to beat this guy up. Would have been nice to have finished him early, but it wasn't an easy fight. As we go on throughout the career, I do think it will get harder, but... To be honest, I'm going to be earning stats throughout, so I'll be putting my stats up, so as my stats go up, I'm kind of thinking that their stats will be going up as well, so it should stay at the same sort of level, provided my skill does get better as the game goes on. I shouldn't have too much of a problem fighting some of these guys. I can't wait to get out of this uh, early stage round. So we're actually fighting for the UFC titles and things like this. I can't wait for that, guys. 
the anticipation, the build up is already there. After the next, we've got 15 seconds left of this round, so just watch the end of this round now. He works his head, his head red. It's not flashing red, but we have worked on it. So in the next round, it might be a good idea to start working on it again, but you never know. We always have to keep our guard and keep well aware of the opponent. We don't want them dropping that one bomb shot on us and knocking us clean out. So, anyway, he's still got his, he's still got his cut. They haven't done much work on that in the corner. He's got his hands a nice another head kick there like he did in the first round. As I learned my lesson, I know, guys. I need to start blocking more, I've noticed, in these games. My abdomen is red. Surprised he's not working on it. He does seem quite knackered. He's backing up quite a bit. I'm gonna have to go into the uh, going for the big body blows here, guys. Have that kick in your face. Feel my, feel my foot. Feel my foot upon me face. Oh, and he's. Oh, I'm so. I was waiting for him to just go to the death there and just give up KO style. Oh! <laughs> I only felt that one. I don't know about you guys watching this, but I certainly felt that one. Straight in the ribs. Killed over on the floor instantaneously. Come on, this fight's getting big now. He's putting up a fight. He's gonna, he's, he's back, he tends to be backing off and then just unleashing these blows on me. So I'm going uh, to try to take my time. Work on his head. Try and get him in this clinch. He learned to try out training. Try and open that cut up some more as well. I don't actually know, guys, if you can get the fight stopped due to uh, an injury being too bad or something like that, but we will have to go for that. So if I do get a cut in the later stages of this career, I will try my best to aim for it and open that cut up as much as possible and try and get the fight stopped. So that will be interesting to watch as well, guys. See how bad we can get someone's brace on this game as well. If we're working on this guy's face in the ring. His cut doesn't look too much worse than what it was in the first. I don't think we've reopened the cut anyway, guys. So as I say, work on this mid rip. Take some stamina away from this guy. I don't like the fact that my bar is halfway down already, looking at the other guy. I mean, I, I think I've thrown a lot more punches and things like that as well, though, guys. So, I don't know, we have to keep an eye on that. I think that that bar is actually a stamina bar or your yeah, energy bar. So, we'll all be looking at statistically up in that. So, we can compete in these fights for longer durations. I mean, at this sort of time, you, you you want that bar to be probably three quarters full, so you can still be land. I'm not sure whether you'll land a knockout blow with that much energy left. I mean, you might do if the opponent's on some serious whatever, but either way, guys, that's the end of this fight. Now I'm panicking in all sorts at this time because I am worried that I may not have won it, but. Anyway guys, let's go into the uh, final stages of this fight. See who's won. See who's victorious. <laughs> who's it going to be? Come out. Look at that cut. I did that. I did that. Oh, yeah, boy. We're through to the next round, guys. We're buzzing off that one. To be honest, I thought that was a pretty close fight. We got some points earned there from that match. 125 XP from that match. I'm not sure if how you perform. Well, I should imagine the better you perform, the more points you earn. But as I say, the next stage I will find that out if I get him better. So we'll try and knock the next guy out and see how many points that gets me anyway, guys. Right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.